Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So I have to announce a great update for the Autoblog iframe extension plugin. Starting from now, it will be able to detect if the page that will be embedded in the iframe does it allow or not to be embedded in an iframe. Because until now, some pages were denying this request to be embedded in the iframe. And in these cases, the plugin generated a page not found error. So let me show you how this looks in action. So if we go to the Autoblog iframe extension plugin, we will see a checkbox disable X, X frame options check. So this is the new feature that was added to the plugin and it is enabled by default. If you check this checkbox, you actually disable this feature and you revert to the old version of the plugin or how it was functioning before. So let me show you just for demonstration purposes how this works with this option checked and how it works without this option checked. So let's go to Newsomatic. Also, uh, Newsomatic got a new update to version 3 and it is using a new API. You should go also to check this out. So let's import from category general only one post to exemplify this. So let's run importing and we will be presented with a new post. So let's go to our test site. And here it is. This is the new post and this is the content generated by the iframe extension plugins. As we can see, Engadget refused to connect. This means that this site is not allowing it to be embedded inside an iframe on other sites. So in this case, the plugin generated this kind of uh, issues and errors. So this is fixed right now because if we uncheck this checkbox, so if we enable the X frame options check feature and save settings and we go back to the same page and refresh it, we will see that the iframe extension plugin will not be activated anymore because it remembered that the site that we want to embed here does not allow this. So first it checks and then it remembers that the site that we will be embedding in an iframe is not allowing it. And instead it shows the content which was imported to WordPress on your local site with a read more button in this case. So let us import other posts just to see that in other cases for other sites this will work and the iframe plugin will do its job for the sites that allow embedding so as you can see here it is in this case the iframe plugin works and in case of sites that allow embedding of their content it will do the job okay so this is all for the update uh, keep uh, in mind that you can switch this off if you want for any reason using this checkbox but i strongly recommend that you leave this unchecked okay so yeah this is all for now i hope you enjoy this new feature for the plugin and until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.